Max Black, Introduction Contact Reports Volume, Issue, 1, Plagiarist Plagiarist Contact Berichte Block 1. 2730 Contact No. 1. 38 from 28.1. 1975 to 13.11. 1975 stats, source Mags Black, contact reports band block, 1, Semjes Berich Disprech Erlebnis block 1. 1115 contact no. 1, 23 from 28.1. 1975 to 3.6. 1975 stats, out of print. Mags Black, date time of contact, Tuesday, 28th January, 1975, 1434, Erster Contact, Translators, Benjamin Stevens date of original translation, 2010 corrections and improvements made, Stephen Zutt, Joseph Darman and James Moore, 6. February 2019, Contact Persons, Semjes Eddy, Synopsis Cyrilla. Billy's first face-to-face -face meeting with Semjes, a female errand from the Plagiaires, on 28 January 1975 in the countryside of Switzerland, Europe. Wasn't his first conversation with extraterrestrials, trials, it began earlier in 1942 when Eduard, nicknamed Billy, was aged 5, he is now 38 in 1975. Yennefer Semjes introduces herself and explains some of the wise Billy has been contacted by the Plegeran, then known as Pleiadians for reasons which later become clearer. She begins to explain some of the more important reasonings behind the ongoing effort to teach Billy, which are, robot modus, warn Earth humans of certain dangerous extraterrestrials they'll eventually meet. Assist Earth humans with the freeing of themselves from every false knowledge they brought along with them up to their present day from their past. Help resolve the underdevelopment of their human consciousness, to develop it, to teach them something about themselves they didn't quite know yet for certain, however they should know. Mads Black First Conversation Introductory Conversation Literal Reproduction, as far as remembered. You are a fearless human being. I have unlearned that anxiety and have become objective. I know, as we have been studying you for years. Very nice, and why? Because we would like to clarify some things through you. Isn't someone else suitable for that? Certainly, but we have kept an eye on you because you have been preoccupied with these problems and other personalities for many thousands of years and because you think and act in a real and honest way and because you have already often carried out such a mission in your former lives even though great mystery is around this for us. Thanks for the flowers. One. No need to, because they are your own merit. Fine, but who are you really? You can just call me you two like I do too. Thanks, but now, who are you? I am called Samius and I come from the Pleiades. Three. From the Seven Stars Four. Certainly. Nice trip, if I may say so. How do you accomplish that? Maybe through the hyperspace. You often know more than we'd like you to know. Why, after all, I am discreet and not a chatterbox. I know that, and that's why your knowledge is in the right place. Therefore, I and everyone else are not worried. Why did you block my way to your ship? Was it because of the film in my camera? Would it have been destroyed? Of course, because you should at least have photo evidence. I see, 
So, I am supposed to go public. But how am I supposed to arrange that? You shall, and I will explain the way to you later. Well then. Isn't it a little dangerous to leave your ship landed on the ground so openly when other human beings might pass by? Don't worry, because it is ensured that no human being can get closer than within a radius of 500 metros. Five moreover, the beamship is protected by either the forest and the hills against sight from afar. Then I, as a human being, should be the only one involved in this meeting. Yes, and you know why. I understand. Unfortunately. Even if you regret it, there is nothing that can be changed about it, not even in the future. I already understand, my dear fellow human beings. Dot, dot, dot. Sure, their consciousness based cognitions rest in wrong paths. But you have made the effort and have learned. You have found the truth in other personalities already many thousands and even millions of years ago and have acquired the knowledge. That is why you stand out from the great mass of human beings on the earth and that is why we have turned to you. You always say we. Does that mean that dot dot dot? Certainly. I told you before, you often know more than we'd like. Please keep quiet about it, because the truth as it is is already hard enough for the human beings. I have never possessed this knowledge, and consequently I also cannot say anything. You can also put it away, and I know that you will keep quiet. I know that if you were forced to speak, you would even deny everything and the whole event and would portray it as fantasy. You really know me very well. Therefore, for many other reasons and because of determination, we have actually chosen you. But now enough of the questions and answers. Listen to me now carefully what I have to say to you. Write everything down and then tell it to the public, but differently than you did in the exercise of your mission in previous lives. How am I supposed to do that? Because I have nothing here to write with. I also don't have a tape recorder, or something similar. Don't worry, because you can write it down later. First, I'll explain everything to you so that you have an overview. On the other hand, later it will be easier for me to get in touch with you and transmit the thoughts to you, after which you will be able to write down everything word for word. With this, are you thinking of the same form by which you also brought me here? You are really very knowing and do us all honor. Thanks. All right then. So, listen now, and only interrupt me if you really do not understand something. 